So your answer is just five. This entire complex expression just reduces to five. Unit conversion is something you'll have to do in every ACT math exam, and it seems pretty hard, but as long as you remember the simple tricks that we talk about in this solution, then they should become a lot easier. So we'll just write that like that. Is, that reduces to just an equal sign, right? What proportion, I'll mark that as X. So the proportion is the unknown, we'll just write it as X, of this number. So three, three, three. So note, note what I did. If I have a fraction and a, like if I say X percent of Y, that's when I, that's where I multiply the decimal equivalent of the percent by that number. So that's exactly what I did here. Okay. That's straightforward. That's something you'll do in every exam. Now proportion, I just marked it as X. You can mark it as any variable. Okay. And that's the unknown. That's what we're looking for. The unknown, you want to mark that as your variable that you're solving for. Now, after you have it in this form, all you need to do is just simplify it. So the left-hand side reduces to 100. The right-hand side is just the same, 333x. I can divide both sides by 333. x ends up equaling 0 0.300, which is the same as 30%, because I just moved the decimal one, two places to the right. That's 30%, so your answer is D.